Alright, hey everyone, uh, this is a tutorial on how to do the flash effects, like, like the lightning bolts in Blender 2.8. Um, so this tutorial is for people who have like a basic uh, understanding of how to use Blender. Let's start. So first, I'm gonna bring in my flash model. I got this model from some guy online, I'll have the picture of the model on screen. I had to texture and rig it myself. Okay. So, uh, what we want to do first is we want to animate Flash running from one place to another. Uh, so, do your animation first and then we'll do the lightning. Okay, so uh, I'm done with the animation here. Here it is so far. Uh, it's not the best because, well, this is. I'm not really like going for animation here. I'm more of just like teaching you guys how to do lightning effects. So. Alright, so what I want to do, I'm uh, going to click on the back, and then hit tab to go into edit mode, and select the areas where you want lightning to come out of. So I want the arms, I want on the hands a little bit. Alright, now you're going to go to this triangle icon, and you're going to click the plus icon, and then hit assign. Now go back into object mode, then go to this, like, sign here and add a particle uh, simulator so we're gonna click here and you can see all this weird stuff it's fine just ignore that for now uh, and then we are gonna go to the vertex groups and then in density search for group and just select group and now I'll be in the back we're gonna go to children simple yeah uh, increase the hair length to 10 or whatever, how long you want your lightning to be, uh, and then just decrease. Sorry for that. You can decrease the number of hairs. You can just bring this down to one, both in the render and display. All right, now for the lightning bolt material, we're gonna go to the material tab. We're gonna click plus and just add a new material. And then in surface, click this and click emission, and then uh. You're gonna remember that. So I'm gonna go back into particles, go into render, and then material. Go to that material that you just made. So select the lightning color you want. Uh, so I want like that colorish, and then bring up the strength. So if you're in EV, you can click bloom and motion blur. Uh, in cycles, which is a different render engine, it's not gonna appear as well. I don't think. Yeah, there's not a lot of bloom. But in EV, there's going to be some bloom. Uh, so yeah, it depends on what you want uh, in the situation that you're using the lightning in. Alright, I want this. So yeah, now we're going to go into back into the particles, turn on hair dynamics and go to cache. Uh, and open this and go into structure. Alright, here's the part where you're gonna have to wing it a lot because I myself don't know how to like do it properly. So uh, just edit the vertex mask and the stiffness until you get something that you like for the lightning bolt shape. Uh, sometimes you're gonna have to go into a particle edit and then edit the lightning bolts. But be careful when you do that because sometimes it will, I mean, not sometimes, it will block you off from using this area. So. Yeah, like for example, if I do this, like if I move it, then it's gonna block me off from editing anything here. But if I want to edit again, I can just click delete edit, then I can change stuff there. You're also gonna want to edit the clumping roughness uh, in the children's setting. And you can also edit the field weights, so you can get some more stuff that you like. So yeah, that's how it looks like if you don't edit anything. I believe you would need to go for some like low, low stiffness and low mass. And zero five. And then um, uh, in the children setting, you wanna see where he starts running. So like, starts running there. So his lightning should be full at this point. 
hit I on length for a keyframe, and then you're gonna go back to when he's like about to start running. Then bring it down to zero, then add another keyframe using I. So then it grows. And when he stops running, do the same thing I zero. So now you have this. You obviously, unless you want the flaring at the end, uh, I don't, so I'm gonna edit the vertex. Uh, mass and stiffness and you also wanna you're also gonna want to edit the roughness so that like it's all not not all uniform at the end there and uh, in the render settings in here set set it from strand to strip it'll just like end at points instead of just like you know just mess around with the settings in general you'll find some stuff like radius and roundness and like, stuff like that you can just play around with Alright, so now I got something that I want, so I'm gonna go into the cache and then hit bake. That's gonna set in your physics for the hair. Boom. So we have that. Uh, okay, now we're gonna add some more detail to the lightning, so add another particle, uh, like particle thing, and then set it to a emitter. So now you're gonna play and see that he's like dropping these little like balls you're gonna want to edit it so that you know it's he starts dropping like he starts emitting them when he starts running so it's in emission you're gonna see a frame start and frame end i uh, just end uh, and then you're gonna set it as that so it starts at 47 and it ends at 86 You're gonna notice it looks a bit weird, but you can fix that by just hitting bake. But this is obviously not the final thing that you want, so just hit delete bake. So yeah. Alright, next you wanna make a mesh. Make a sphere and then right click to make it shade smooth. Basically right now we're making embers uh, that's gonna come off the lightning. So just gonna model it to look like a ember. So yeah, just basically just like that. Then you're gonna give it the same material as the lightning bolts. Alright, now go back to the particle settings and then go to the render tab and then hit collection. And then go to the oh, hit collection, go to the collection that you made that contains the embers. So that's collection tree. So now you see he's emitting embers. And uh, this is gonna pop up in your final render. So you just wanna hide the collection, but don't hide the sphere. Because if you had the sphere, he's not gonna be emitting any embers. So make sure you have the sphere. You just hide the collection. Go back to the particle settings. Uh, you wanna edit the just a few things. You can play around the settings here. Just so scale randomness. Bring up. Then edit the scale of the embers. You don't wanna make them too big. Edit the lifetime, which is like how long the embers are gonna like stay like there. So as you can see, it's like. It's still the embers are still there even though flash is already here, so you wanna decrease the embers to like something lower. Go to physics, bring down the mass to zero. Turn on rotation and you can like edit the rotation of the thing of the embers so that it's like not all the same. It won't look the same. Alright, done with the particles, you're just gonna wanna edit around and play around the settings to get something that you like, so yeah, that's basically it. Alright, make sure you have motion blur on and bloom, and then set up your camera, and you're done. Thanks for coming back to this tutorial. It wasn't really more of a tutorial, it's more of like, telling you to mess around with settings, because basically that's really it in doing this thing in Blender, so doing the flash effect in blender so yeah it's mostly just playing around with like the simulation changing settings i hope that i helped you guys uh with your flash animations and yep uh see ya